command line video we're going to be looking at editing with the VI or Vim editor. In the last video we looked at just moving around. In this one we're actually going to go in and make some edits to our file and talk about different ways of saving the file once we've made our changes. We're going to start off by looking at uh, the file we were looking at last time uh, to make some edits. So I'm going to move into um, the articles directory um, and in here you'll see we have a file. So vi is the command I'm going to use to open it uh, and contextpanels.txt um, open that up. So here's my document. And remember when we uh, first enter vi you're always in command mode so I can use my letter keys and I'm moving around. Um, but what I want to actually do is insert because I want to actually edit text rather than moving around. Um, so I'm going to move over to a word and you'll see that this word is misspelled. It's missing a letter. And so I'm going to move over and place my cursor exactly where I want to do my insert. And I hit I and you notice the insert appears at the bottom. And now I can type text and it'll actually be put into the document. So I'll type the A to replace that. I could type more letters if I wanted to. Once I'm done doing the actual text, I hit escape. It puts me back to command so I can move around. Um, so now I can, you know, type letters and I'm not actually uh, inserting that text now. I'm just moving around. Another thing that I can do uh, for insert, so there's I for insert where the cursor is. If I do shift a, so a capital A, uh, that will take me to the end of the line and put me into insert mode right away. So I can just begin typing. So you'll see the inserts down here again. Uh, and so I can just begin typing and it just places my cursor at the end of the line for me. Make my changes, hit escape. Um, I can go up here and I can do the same thing to go to the beginning of the line. You could type a shift I or capital I. Does the same thing. Moves me to the beginning of the line and puts me in insert mode and then I escape to get back to command. Probably want to just play with that a little bit with those commands, inserting some text and then escaping and, and getting familiar with command and insert. But those are the basic ways of getting text into your document. Now I just want to look at um, deleting text. If I type the letter X, then I will delete text in front of or to the right of my cursor. If you use a capital X, Shift X, you'll delete the characters to the left of the cursor. So you can just use X to delete whatever little bits of text you need here and there. For bigger chunks, you can use the letter D with a direction letter that we learned in our movement video last. So DW will delete a word in front and DB will delete a word backwards just like as if we were moving except it's deleting when it moves. A special one is DD which will delete an entire line. So if you just want to drop an entire line just type DD the whole thing will disappear. So this is all good and well uh, but uh, what if I want to fix mistakes so I've made too many changes. If I type the letter U it will undo my last change and you can keep doing this and keep going backwards. So U is really handy to know. Um, now sometimes you mess things up so badly you just want to go back to the beginning and you can do this with an X command which is when we start with a colon. So it's colon E and then I use an exclamation point to say discard all of the changes I've done. So I want to edit and discard all changes. When I do that I go all the way back to the last saved state of this document which is when I opened it. Um, and so you'll notice that the word very is gone and the A in example is gone. I went all the way back to the beginning of the document. So let's look at how we can actually save our documents so that we don't have to revert all the way back um, to the very beginning every time. Uh, so I'm going to go make this change to the word example again. Insert, put the letter A and escape. And then I want to save the document at this state. So we're going to do that with an X command which means a colon and then the letter W for write. So colon W saves the document in its current state. Uh, and so then this will, you know, this is how you save your document as you go. And it's something you should really get into the habit of, just like when you're writing any other document. Um, so colon W keeps you going. Um, let's go ahead and make some more changes in this document here. I'm going to destroy some stuff um, and mess up my beautiful document again. Um, so now if I come down and uh, I messed everything up and I want to revert and now I'm going to do again to revert back to the last save state colon E exclamation point and everything comes back but you'll notice that the word example has now stayed the same because I saved the document. All right now I'm just going to make some changes here uh, making some edits uh, and we're going to be done with the document. Um, I've made the changes I need to change. Now remember quitting you could do 
colon Q. When I try and do that, it says, hey, you've made changes, so you can't just quit. You have to tell me what to do with the changes. Now, before we saw you could do Q exclamation point, which means quit and don't save any of my changes. If I want to save my changes, though, I could do a colon WQ, write it, and then quit. So save and quit. Um, so you can do colon WQ, uh, works fine. Or you can just do capital ZZ. So shift ZZ does exactly the same thing as colon WQ uh, and goes ahead and saves your changes. So that's some basics of making some edits, getting in, uh, and how to get out of that <laughs> and save your changes. Uh, in the next video, we'll look more at copy paste and some other fun stuff. Oh, <laughs>